Each year, New Zealand produces over 365 million pounds of wool, establishing itself as one of the world's leading suppliers of high-quality wool. On the vast, endless grazing fields of New Zealand, sheep thrive in an ideal natural environment with a temperate climate and abundant vegetation. These favorable conditions result in wool that is not only soft and durable, but also of exceptional quality, making it a highly sought after material in the global fashion and textile industries. Beyond wool, New Zealand exports millions of sheep to the United States each year to meet the growing demand for lamb. With over 300 million pounds of lamb consumed annually, the U.S. stands as one of the largest markets for New Zealand's sheep farming industry. Let's explore the journey of harvesting and processing New Zealand wool and lamb, from the pastures to your wardrobe and plate. In New Zealand, sheep are primarily raised in natural grazing systems on expansive pastures, where sustainable management practices ensure abundant feed sources. Pastures are rotated efficiently to allow vegetation like clover and alfalfa to regenerate, providing nutrient-rich grasses for the sheep. Clean water from rivers, streams, and ponds is always available, supporting the health and growth of the flock. Additionally, barns play an essential role in protecting sheep from harsh weather conditions and providing necessary care. Built on high ground, these barns are designed to be cool in summer and warm in winter with ventilation systems and straw bedding to maintain a clean environment. The barns are divided into specialized areas, including sections for ewes and lambs, a care unit for sick sheep, and feeding zones, optimizing the rearing process. While New Zealand has few dangerous predators, animals like wild dogs and possums can threaten sheep, especially lambs. To ensure the flock's safety, Farms often use protective fencing or employ sheepdogs to guard the herd. Farmers carefully select breeds with good health, clear lineage, and suitability for production purposes. Natural breeding methods are commonly used, where healthy rams are released among the ewes during the breeding season. But artificial insemination is also utilized to control breed quality and enhance productivity. During pregnancy, ewes typically undergo ultrasound scanning between 40 and 90 days after mating to determine the number of fetuses, detect false pregnancies, or identify weak fetuses. These ultrasound results help farmers adjust nutrition plans, especially for ewes carrying multiple lambs, who require additional nutrients to support healthy development. Ultrasound also aids in identifying non-pregnant ewes optimizing herd management and improving farming efficiency. About two to three weeks before birth, pregnant ewes are moved to a separate, clean and warm area to reduce risks during lambing. After birth, lambs must consume colostrum within the first six hours to boost their immunity, and they're closely monitored to ensure healthy development. If a ewe lacks milk or rejects her lamb, farmers provide alternative milk to prevent malnutrition in the first few weeks, lambs require special care to support growth. Alongside their mother's milk, they begin consuming fresh grass and supplemental feed at around two to three weeks of age to aid digestive system development. By 8 to 12 weeks, they are fully weaned and transition to a natural diet. During this stage, farmers implement disease prevention measures like vaccinations, deworming, and identification marking for efficient flock management. Post weaning, Lambs graze on nutrient-rich pastures, supplemented with minerals and vitamins to support bone development and immune function. Sheep raised for meat undergo a specialized fattening phase to ensure tender, flavorful lamb with moderate fat content and rich nutritional value. When they reach a standard weight of 90 to 130 pounds, they are transported to modern slaughter facilities or prepared for export. 
for export to the U.S. Sheep undergo a health check before being transported by specialized trucks to the airport. These trucks are equipped with automatic ventilation systems, non-slip flooring, and secure cage restraints to prevent jostling during transit. At the airport, the sheep undergo a final inspection and are loaded into cages with balanced weight distribution, with temperature, humidity, and water supply adjusted as needed to maintain their health. Upon arrival, they undergo an acclimatization period to adapt to the new environment before being distributed to farms or breeding centers. Back in New Zealand, the wool harvesting process, known as shearing, takes place once or twice a year, typically in spring or early summer, to prevent the sheep from getting cold. Under the skilled hands of experienced shearers, the process is carried out quickly and precisely with specialized electric clippers. The shearer starts from the belly, where the wool is thinnest and of lower quality, before moving to the legs, back, and finally the neck. This sequence optimizes time and ensures the harvested wool remains as intact as possible. The electric shears, equipped with sharp blades, glide smoothly over the skin without causing harm to the sheep. Thanks to their expertise, a skilled shearer can complete the process in just two to five minutes, minimizing stress for the sheep and reducing friction that could affect wool quality. During shearing, experts also assess the sheep's overall health by examining their skin ensuring the flock remains in top condition. During the shearing process, experts closely examine the sheep's condition to ensure their well-being. A thick, shiny coat indicates good health, while abnormalities like dandruff or parasites may signal underlying issues that require attention, ensuring the flock remains in top condition for both wool and meat production. Sheep shearing is far more than a wool harvesting activity. It demands precision, scientific understanding, and high-level expertise to maximize benefits for both the sheep and the wool industry. The process not only provides valuable wool, but also keeps the sheep comfortable and healthy. After shearing, the wool is kept intact in large fleece sheets rather than being mixed, making it easier to classify. This classification is based on three main criteria, fiber length, fineness, and cleanliness. Long, soft, and impurity-free fibers are selected for high-quality wool production. Primarily used in the luxury fashion industry to create premium garments like soft sweaters and elegant scarves. In contrast, coarser or more contaminated wool is processed for industrial applications such as carpet manufacturing, technical textiles, or insulation materials, showcasing the versatility of this natural resource. For sheep raised for meat, humane slaughtering techniques are employed, using advanced technology to ensure a quick process that minimizes stress on the animals. while maintaining optimal meat quality. The sheep meat is then thoroughly cleaned to remove wool, blood, and any remaining impurities. It is processed through fat trimming lines and categorized into different cuts to meet various market demands. Premium cuts such as lamb racks, tenderloins, and legs are vacuum sealed or frozen at zero degrees Fahrenheit to ensure freshness, preserving their quality for the journey ahead. 
The lamb meat is then distributed to supermarkets, high-end restaurants, or exported to major markets, including the United States, where it meets the growing demand for New Zealand lamb. This tender, flavorful meat can be prepared in a variety of delicious dishes, such as grilled lamb chops, roasted lamb legs, lamb curry, lamb hot pot, or kebabs. Its distinctive flavor and versatile cooking methods make lamb a popular ingredient in European, Middle Eastern, and Asian cuisines, delighting food lovers around the world. From the lush green pastures of New Zealand to the modern farms of the United States, sheep farming and harvesting processes are increasingly optimized to ensure the highest quality in both wool and lamb production. We hope this journey has given you fascinating insights into these gentle animals and the care that goes into bringing their products to your wardrobe and table. That's all for today from Back to the Barn. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with more exciting content. See you in the next video.